So here we have the NASA prediction of the comet P, P linear, um, 209P slash linear. Um, now they say it's it's not going to hit us. And um, here's its. Uh, see, misses. Yeah. The only thing that I have have to question and have concern about, though, really, is um, their data here. The data shows that it's um, these are the times of all the um, nearest approach of objects and um, this is the list of objects that it was a near approach of okay so 1940, 1952, 1954 and that's like shows it near Jupiter and Jupiter and Earth and Jupiter and Earth and Jupiter and Earth and Jupiter um, very interesting but that's even into the future as you can see now on May 29th at 7.51 in the morning it, it will be at its nearest approach to Earth it says here but the only thing I have a problem with here with your data and I, I have to ask is that why was the data for 1917 modified? I could see if maybe you guys made a course correction on, you know, its nearest pr approach time and direction and exact trajectory of its approach this time coming from Earth. But why would you change the data from 19 uh, from 19 1917? It shows here that, the, that this file has been modified on April 17th, 2014. In fact, every single file on this comet was just modified on April 17th. Now, I could see if you guys were making a correction on its orbital path for, nine, for, for the year 2014 right here, but Not for every single one that's already gone by. What were you wrong every other time? Like you modified every single file that has anything to do with this comet, and it just is a little bit fishy because the uh, 3D orbital predictor wasn't up online yesterday, and I knew that you guys were changing, were were supposedly changing data on this comet. Um, so why is the data changed? for every single approach of this comet though. Why was it all changed? Every single file was changed. And the uh, Astro Projector shows it actually not even coming by in the same path and they get their data from you guys. And just this morning it showed it coming behind the Earth, not in front, even though I know before it did come in front. So it's been changed a few times the data on this and I just, it just makes me a little wary as to you know, why did you guys change all the data for every single closest approach to every solar system body that it's ever come in contact with or will? Did, like, <laughs> you guys figure you got the near approach times wrong for every single one that happened in the past? Like, how, why would you change them? Up to you, NASA. Let us know.